I get a ton of people asking me about the Tulloch OLL all the time, and I don't have a good website that shows it, so I always end up writing up paragraphs of explanation to each person individually. To make sure that I don't go crazy, I wanted to make this quick video on this technique. The Tulloch OLL simply orients the last layer right after you finished your first two layers. So it makes the cube go from this to this, where you can see that all the pieces on the last layer are correctly oriented, but their positions are still scrambled, so that's fixed using the permutation uh, step in the Friedrich method, which is the last step. Anyway, so the Tulloch OLL does this in nine algorithms as opposed to all the 57 algorithms you would have to learn in the Friedrich method. Um, it does it at expensive speed, so it's a little slower. Uh, the way it does it is it first does the edges, it orients the edges, and then it orients the corners, hence the name the Tulloch OLL. Okay, so let's look at edge orientation first. After you finish the first layers, there can only be few things that happen with the edges. You can have zero edges correctly oriented, two edges correctly oriented, or four edges correctly oriented. If you have four edges correctly oriented, you are done. If you have two edges correctly oriented, then we can have two subcases. Either the two edges that need orienting still are opposite to each other, or they are adjacent to each other, like here. Um, I will do the last case where you have none of the edges oriented after this. So if you have the two edges that need orienting opposite each other, hold the cube like so. Do the following algorithm. F, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. That solves it. If you have this case, do a very similar looking algorithm. Small f, R, U, R prime, U prime, small f prime. And that solves it. In the last case, you can have um, none of the edges oriented correctly. And in that case, just do the first algorithm followed by the second algorithm. So the first and the second. And that's all. After we are done with the edges, we can proceed to the second stage of the two look OLL, or the second look, where we do the corners. Uh, you can only run into seven cases in this stage, and these are two of those seven cases. Um, notice that these two cases look very similar on top, but they are slightly different. This one has yellow here, this one doesn't. Uh, so the corners are twisted the other way. Anyway, to solve the anti soon, they're called anti soon and soon, by the, by the way, they have names. Uh, don't ask me why. To solve the anti soon, I hold it like so and do r prime, u prime, r, u prime, r prime, u2, r. To solve the soon, I hold it like this and I do r, u, r prime, u, r, u2, r prime. And uh, just a quick note on memorization. That's why I reversed that case. Um, to memorize this, it's very easy. Just track this F2 L pair around the cube. Notice what happens to it as I do the algorithm. First, I take it out, so it's here. Then I move it one position over. Then I open the slot again, and I insert it back. And that's the soon algorithm. Okay, so here I have another case. This case is very similar to another OLL case, so be careful. This one has, like so, the yellows. This one has them here and here. So they're slightly different. I'll do this one in a second. To solve this one, it's very easy. Hold it like so, and do F, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime, U prime, F prime. Done. So that should be really easy to remember. Okay, I'll now show you this case that I just talked about seconds ago. So hold the cube like this. There is a fast version of the algorithm and there is a lazy man's version of the algorithm. I will first show you a fast way to do it. It's uh, R, U2, R2, U prime, R2, U prime, R2, U2, R. If it aids you with memorization, notice that the algorithm is actually palindrome. It's read backwards and forwards the same, which is kind of funny. Anyway, the lazy man's version is to use the two algorithms that I showed you for edge orientation. Uh, you do them the second one and then the first one in sequence, and that will solve it. So if you do the second one, it's the small f, r, u, r prime, u prime, small f prime, and then f. R U R prime U prime small F prime. 
and that solves it too. So decide whichever one you want to use. Okay, there are only three algorithms left. This case is called headlights. And uh, this case looks very similar to another case, uh, which is called chameleon, because it's got eyes on the sides, I suppose. Uh, they look similar, but they're not similar again, so be careful. To solve the headlights, hold the cube like so, and do R2, D, R prime, U2, R, D prime, R prime, U2, R prime. Um, I cannot think of any easy way to remember this case, you'll just have to learn it. Um, tough luck. Okay, I will now show you how to solve the chameleon. Hold it like this, do the following algorithm. Small r, u, r prime, u prime, small r prime, f, r, f prime. That solves it. Uh, this algorithm is very easy to remember. The first part is the r, u, r prime, u prime trigger, which I've used 100 times, even in this video. But the first r is actually a small r. And the second part is also a very famous trigger, the r prime, f, r, f prime trigger, which you may already know but also the first r prime is small r prime so that's very easy I will now show you how to do the last algorithm which looks like this the last case uh, this might be sometimes tough to uh, position because this is a different way you must have a yellow here anyway this will be very easy just take the algorithm we just did for chameleon move that f prime at the end to the beginning you think that shouldn't work right well, let's see. F prime R U R prime U prime R prime F R. We are done. All right. So using the two look OLL technique, there is a very little memorization involved, and it's pretty fast to solve the entire orientation. I hope it doesn't discourage you from learning all of the OLLs because uh, most of the OLLs are really easy to learn, and they're just begging you to learn them because they're very easy. And um, so anyway, that's it for now. You can use this, it's pretty fast uh, for now, but don't be lazy and learn the OLs eventually. Bye-bye. Uh, if you have four edges correctly oriented, then you are done. If you have two edges oriented correctly, you can have two subcases. This is wrong.